So right now they're getting gas in my new truck. I'm pretty excited. On to different things. I don't want to say better things because this is a really, really good truck. I love the GMC Canyon. Nothing against the canyons, but I'm on to something different. Hey, what are you doing there? You think I'm leaving my sweet taillights with them for trade-in? No, it's not part of the deal. Oh, how about the Magnaflow exhaust? Um, that unfortunately I can't remove tonight, so they'll get to keep that. Ah, <laughs> the stock taillights. There she goes. Bye. 11 miles on the new new. Are you excited? I'm very excited to take this. But just extremely tired, huh? It's been a long day, it's been a long journey trying to find a new whip. Bye, Sterling. Bon voyage to the canyon. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. So if you've been following me for quite some time, you know that I own a 2018 GMC Canyon All-Terrain at That truck is no longer with us anymore because I went and traded it in for another brand new truck. FYI, the thing is in a very stock state right now, but that won't be for very long. So if you like trucks, um, you like mods, smash the subscribe button, stick around, stay tuned. I'll be showcasing the new truck to you guys very soon, but first let's move a couple cars out of the shop so we can get the new one in here because I'll be doing a little bit of a preparation in, uh, in order to get a couple things going. I have some parts ordered for it already, so things are coming very, very soon, but I wanna get it inside here and at least give it a detail, uh, wipe it down. So let's move some cars out and let's get that going. So generally what Porsche does is they'll match the color of the key fob to the body of the car. So this one's black as you can see and the remote is yellow. But if you come inside, you'll see that we have yellow accenting everywhere. So we got yellow seat belts, we have the floor mats, instrument cluster, ignition, and the analog clock up there. So this is a cold start on a 2018 Tesla Model 3. I know, she's a screamer. This car is freak me out how quiet they are. Just FYI, I would definitely uh, consider turning your volume down just just, just a little bit. This car has some work done by Bowden Auto House, so it is... Uh... <laughs> You know I was here and you didn't bring me one? I didn't know you like blueberry. Bro, it's messed. So you're talking about getting a new car truck. What are you trying to get? I don't know. I threw the idea out of just doing a Tesla. <laughs> Dude. No, for, like, I did because No, like, I'm, I know, I know, I know. Well, uh, because For like, half so many... a minute, I had the same itch too. I wanted a Tesla. You can get a Tesla for, you know, used what, 30 grand now? Model S, 35 grand, mm. 40 grand, 50 grand. I mean, they just range. There's oh, different variations that. of Teslas. If you can get one at a pretty decent price, yeah. then you're not paying for gas. If you get one that has free charging, you can get probably get one with free charging still too. Because yeah. well, some came with that, some didn't. Well, I like how Tesla does it on their website. That when you go to the final page and it has everything listed out, and like what it's going to cost you, they actually put your gasoline savings and say, ooh, here, you're going to save $4,300 this year if you really? buy our car. I don't know. I, I think I'm still going to wait till... Ford comes out with their electric Mustang because it's gonna happen. Ford has their secret project of a sweet new hybrid crossover Mustang. It's called Mach 1, I believe. I read that online somewhere, but I'm pretty excited to see that. That's gonna be cool. That sounds wild. I'm gonna get a Tesla and wrap it the way I wanna wrap it because I can't find that one peacock Tesla owner. So you would take a Tesla and wrap it in something just super outlandish. Yeah, but they gotta let me do it, you know? Like, that's the thing. Like, cause I got like two or three different ideas for a Tesla that I wanna do really bad. What are you aiming for? Model 3? Model <laughs> S? X? What? Uh, I, I will say this. I saw a Model X recently with one of those color shifting wraps. Yeah. And it was what mostly was green, purple? And, pur yeah, green was, and purple. That was Avery. It was tight, dude. Yeah, it looked good. I find it. I have an idea for Model X, but the two, the two other ideas that I have would be a great one for Model 3 or an S. So Tesla owners, if you're out there, give me a DM. He, Steve, by the way, is a certified vinyl wrap installer. You're one of the best installers that I know, so. Well, thank you. Any I, Tesla owners, definitely let it. us know. <laughs> He's creative. It's Fraptor in the background. I thought it was a doctor. I said Fraptor. 
Thapter. It's not a fat raptor. Raptor, not fat. Thapter or Fraptor? Fraptor. Gotcha. I just stare at my truck. This Lambo is sitting in front of me and I'd rather just stare at my truck. Meh. Come on. Forget how to parallel I, I park. Totally yeah, you did. Now, now you're you bodging it even way. more. See this? Really what you're for. There, there's a bull because it used to be, you know, tractors before as sports cars. Not too many people know that. <laughs> but yeah, there's not much to it. Are you calling out Lamborghini right now? Yeah. <laughs> of course. Always got to call it Lamborghini. I feel you. Okay. Hey, Pasó, Freddy. What's up, Marcos? Not much, man. You want to be an actor today? You feeling? Are you feeling the actor today? Well, I was gonna showcase my truck in the shop, but it turned out to be a gorgeous day. So let's go find a spot outside. You leaving? All right, man. Chevy Silverado LT All Star Edition. So let's do a little quick walk around. I'll show you guys the 360, give you guys a little tour of the inside, the outside. Do a more in depth review video in the near future. But for now, I just want to give you guys a quick walk around tour of the new whip and introduce the new truck to the channel. So I'm going to start here in the front because that is actually my favorite part of the truck. Uh, looks wise, I think it's super aggressive. Don't mind all the chrome because that will be dealt with in a very short time. Um, but yeah, for now it is chrome. In fact, there was a reason why I went with the chrome option versus going with the full uh, paint matched option. Reason being is the front end takes the most abuse of any area on your car or truck. Given the fact that, you know, there's a lot of debris that kicks up off the roads, freeway debris, things come at it at a high rate of speed, and that's a very flat area. So the reason why I went with the chrome option is because I am going to be putting a vinyl wrap. So I'm gonna put a wrap on all of the chrome parts here in the front including the old-fashioned bronze bow tie. But yeah, all that will be covered up in a nice vinyl wrap. So if I had gone with the paint matched option and all this was painted from the factory or if I went to get a powder coat or have it just painted in the same black as the truck, over time it's gonna get abused, get chipped up, and my, the only option at that point I'll have is to either deal with it or repaint it, which is a whole other process in itself that I don't ever wanna deal with. So putting a wrap on it is kind of a layer of protection that can get abused and chipped and all messed up and I can peel it off and put a brand new layer on it. This time around I thought it'd be a little more fun to get a you know not so optioned truck and do everything myself. It's, it's more rewarding, it's, it's just more fun that way. It's more engaging to me for a longer period of time to do things you know over a period of time myself. So that's why I got chrome which for two reasons it's be, be cool to wrap it and also for protection. Fog lights, I can add those. All the things I want to do to it, the dealership would charge, or the manufacturer would charge quite a bit for. Um, you know, I can do it myself and throw something better. Maybe I can do some LED off-road pods in the fog light area. That'd be cheaper and it'd be a lot cooler. So, things like that. The, uh, <laughs> the rake on this truck isn't as bad as a mid-sized truck at least it's not as obvious but that will be that will be adjusted very very soon this truck is also really really quiet more to come on that so i think it's a little windy over here I should probably move somewhere else the 2019 silverado is a complete redesign they've made a lot of changes for one being the hood the roof the tailgate and the doors is all aluminum. So the 2019 model versus the 2018 model is 500 pounds lighter than the previous years. And that gives you more efficiency, more gas mileage, and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, though those areas do tend to crease a lot easier. So door, they're more susceptible to door dings. And that's never fun, but that's okay because we stay far away from other cars in the parking lots. We don't, we don't squeeze in parking spots, so. We're good, we know what we're doing. Take you guys around the back here and show you a cool little feature. This time around we have a completely remoteless uh, or keyless setup. So we have a key fob here, no more ignition keys. We are, we are completely keyless and I appreciate this so much. So I'm stoked Chevy's doing this, but we can also open the tailgate with it too. So tap that button twice and the tailgate opens right up. And you can probably close it with two fingers, look at that. 
bam, so it's aluminum. It's super light. Debbie's also decided to remove the handle, so now we have a button, we have a, um, a light. We have a light and a backup camera here, but this is a button to open the tailgate, so you just tap that once and it lowers itself. We have the easy open as we do. Really nice to have. And of course, the steps, because those you gotta have. Show you guys what's going on in the interior. So we do have cloth interior because I love cloth interior. I don't know why people think it's such a bad thing to have cloth interior, why leather is the only way to go. I think leather is uncomfortable, leather is cold, and leather cracks. The worst that happens with cloth seating is you get a little bit of distortion here, but you can also remove any panel that has been distorted and restuff it with the foam filling and you're good to go. Now, one option I thought was really cool was the bench seat in the front. I think that's awesome. So this center console, let me pull that out and pull that out. This flips up and we have another seat there and we also have storage here as well. So we have storage there. We have the center console storage spot and a third seat, so you can't go wrong. So much more room. I think Chevy killed it with this one. I think it's a super clean design inside. Everything feels super nice, super smooth. All the buttons are feel, they just feel so crisp. Everything feels really nice. The only thing that I think they kind of messed up on was this wheel. I'm not a fan of the wheel thing. It's when you're flipping through your options, you have to be really, really careful with how you're scrolling. You gotta really pay attention to um, how quick it's rolling through the options because Every time you go that much, that's one click, and it's so easy to go twice, and then or three, and one up, and two down, and five down, and four up, and it's hard to really pinpoint where exactly you're on. So that's the one thing, you just gotta be really mindful of how hard you're scrolling. But we have buttons going left and right. We have a heated steering wheel too. So that's useful in other states, I'm sure, but definitely not in California. Most importantly, we do have the four-wheel drive option. Not overly teched out, I love the clean design, everything is super smooth, very easy to read. Um, you can also get a three-pronged house outlet option there too, which I didn't care for because I, can, I, I can't think of one time when I've ever needed a three-prong in my car. Um, yeah, I, I just can't think of one time. So we have micro USB now, we have standard USB, and of course your cigarette lighter deal we have the trailer setup and push start and stop I love that that's my favorite thing about this truck I mean not you know what I mean like that's a really nice function that's so nice to have key stays in my pocket and we just press the button and the, car, the truck turns on bam just like that so that's super dope I love that I, I, I'm really appreciating that because I've never had push start so that is a luxury so that's a basic little tour of my new truck the 2019 Silverado LT All-Star Edition. This thing is so sick. I have so much planned for it. I cannot wait to start doing things. Um, as you can see, I wasted no time getting window tint done, but that's easy. We did 15% in the front and 35% uh, over the factory tint in the rear. It's all ceramic, so it feels really nice inside the truck. That pretty much concludes my mini walk around tour for you guys. I'm super stoked. I have so many cool things on the way for this truck, so make sure you stay tuned. Do not go anywhere. I will catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out.